All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the pre-market prep. I hope everyone's having an amazing morning. Hope you had a great day yesterday. Good morning, Norm. How are you today? Morning, buddy. I'm doing great. How about yourself? Doing good, man. Doing good. Uh, all right. Let's look at what we have on our gappers list this morning. Let's get started there. Uh, not a whole lot. Uh, pretty uh, tight list. It was, uh, you know, it was yeah, actually very small this morning earlier too, as I was looking at it. So we started to have some stuff creep in now. Um, a pretty balanced style as far as green and reds this morning. Uh, we got some interesting ones on here like TLRY. We'll get into what's happening there. IBM is in here. Uh, DKNG is good. So we'll see. I know the market was very uh, active yesterday. Uh, we'll get into that in the market post. But first, let's look at uh, some of the top plays and highlights we had yesterday. So let's start here with uh, one of the ones we had in our list was a VXRT. So let's go up to our five minute, uh, kind of show you what's happening there. Uh, what happened there yesterday so great pre-market action at the open was just uh very wild it was not clean right before the market you had this nice big drop here uh then a push up again it tries to get going there's no continuation breaking out of the recent highs in the pre-market there so again just a little bit choppy in this area there was definitely no indication of any pattern maybe some scalping opportunities but that was about it as far as follow through uh you did get this consolidation slightly above the view app and the moving averages and then this drop comes in uh that almost heads right to the law of the day and then you get a beautiful support happening right here around 550 and then you get a beautiful play towards the top so this is the better part of the day for vxrt the beginning was really rough you got a nice continuation above the vwap here uh, i did see some traders take this reversal in here and once they regain vwap and it did give you a beautiful continuation almost towards the well right to the high of the day uh if you're able to get a great entry here so vxrt rough at the open uh, but pretty nice later on into the uh the mid-morning there uh workhorse was nice guys this one was amazing if you look at the pre-market again it was, it was not the greatest pre-market action we've seen but right at the open something here happens where you lose this level we had here this pre-market low and we talk about this pre-market breakouts and uh towards the top or breakdown towards the bottom uh this one did just that beautiful breakdown above below this 2305 and just look at the continuation you got here um nice pullback so if you missed this uh entry for like a one minute open range breakdown no worries you know don't chase it wait for the pullback and the closer that pullback gets to the vwap the better your risk to reward and opportunity is going to be uh, and and i love this strategy here i obviously missed this one we're trading uh was it uh neo i believe uh, this was nice but then again look at the continuation they got here right to the low of the day which is you know if you're entering here that's a great partial right there. that's a great uh target already and then you get a great continuation towards the bottom there so pretty nice for workhorse traded very well yesterday did give you a play towards the vwap reversal as well uh then in between 11 30 and about one o'clock got really choppy in here uh not much going on there um NKLA was another one. NKLA had a beautiful, and a lot of members took this breakout here. Again, we talk about these uh, pre-market highs and pre-market low breakouts. Uh, this is a beautiful one here. It breaks out of this 2020, which is your pre-market high, and never looks back, guys. Look at this uh, this pop here. Uh, just a beautiful continuation. You're literally going from 2020 all the way up to the top of this. It's 2168. Uh, so a dollar and change move there. That's a really nice pop. Uh, congrats to many people that took uh, took that trade. Um, next we had Neo. Now this is uh, what's it? No, actually this was not the one we traded. It was not we traded yesterday. Uh, yeah, it was not this one. Neo was pretty choppy in here, guys. Not a whole lot uh, going on in this area. Um, you did get a uh, a drop here. And, and kind of reversal so very choppy in this area you finally did get above the view app and then a nice drop uh, in here uh, i wonder was it this one i traded i think it was yes it was here it is sorry guys one minute there it is that's the one we traded yesterday um so the five minute looks actually doesn't look great but look at this one here guys this is the one where brian went short a lot of us saw a beautiful opportunity towards the bottom here um you did get a pullback many of you enter here which probably was a way better entry uh, brian and i enter somewhere in this area and then look at this drop losing the law of the day and then the beautiful continuation so that was a nice play and then many of you reversed your position and went long here Right, once you saw the buying power coming in. So great job doing that. I was not able to get that that move. But again, amazing job there. Uh, and when we were live in our chat, when we were talking about this, uh, you know, you guys remember talking about this in uh, kind of this 
pressure we're getting here, right? Uh, we're looking for a possible breaker. You can see these wicks, a good sign that it was not ready to do so. And you, that's why you did get this drop here. Eventually comes right back up above the VWAP and then the beautiful breakout uh, on NEO yesterday. After that, it gets a little bit choppy and then just sells down. Um, I believe this was when the market was selling down. We'll talk about that uh, a bit now. And uh, what happened there yesterday, definitely some action uh, uh, as we see the market drop a bit. So let's get to our market post, Norm. What do we have today and some of the action yesterday? Yeah, man. So yesterday morning uh, during the show, we were talking about hopes of stimulus, of COVID relief coming out of the government, uh, talks between Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi. And as the day went on, it kind of became clear that wasn't going to happen yesterday. So uh, market started tanking uh, midday. And then there was some talk they're going to continue talking. It was after market hours that they were going to continue talking today. So uh, popped up a little bit and we're kind of in the same boat again, up just a little bit this morning. Um, SPY is up just shy of half a percent. Same thing with the queues. I will say noticeable on the queues if you can pull that up on the five minute that it was announced by the Justice Department at about 8.05 Eastern, that they're going to be filing suit on Google and antitrust suit. Um, it's been something that's been talked about for a while, but it tanked Google. It tanked, uh, you know, it, a, a lot of these big tech companies took a hit right at that time when that came out, which caused that drop. Um, drop on the spy as well right then. So we shall see how that goes if it recovers uh, a little bit more from that or what we really don't have any news we had building start uh we had housing starts and building permits um at 8 30 right when the show started they were both a little bit better than expected i believe other than that there's not really any more data coming out today uh we'll just uh we'll roll with it not looking great this morning i didn't think yesterday was that great personally uh you know, I, I, I churned out a tiny green day, but it was definitely nothing to write home about. So today looks not even as great as yesterday. We'll see. Yeah. Yep. I, I, I agree. This watch. Be patient. Yeah, exactly. You'll get, you'll get opportunities, but you got to be patient for them. That's yep. for sure. Yep. Absolutely. Um, all right, guys, let's get into our gappers list this morning. Let's remove what we had here from yesterday uh, and let's uh, get into some of this uh, stuff that's gapping up this morning. Let's start with Logi here. Is this Logitech? Is that what this is? Uh, let's bring our names here. Yes, it is. Oh, here we go. They reported okay. earnings last night, blew out earnings. Uh, nice. Blew out earnings because of cameras, because of gaming equipment, still the whole work from home, play from home kind of environment that we're in. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, this stock, guys, does not get a whole lot of volume today. Obviously, it's a big move, so it could be the difference between you know uh, them trading horrible. Which is, you look at this daily, how, how bad this daily is, right? And part of that is because the type of volume they get usually under one million seven hundred thousand there. So uh, pretty pretty light on the volume. That's we have that nasty daily. Uh, but today you actually have a pretty decent pre market action. You're trading almost a quarter. Uh, I mean, almost half of what you trade on a regular day is already traded in the pre-market. So that could create some volume for us. Nice pop up here at a, a what's this? We're up 17% on this one today. But definitely worth watching. But uh, not one of my favorites just because the way this stock trades, right? It doesn't trade very clean. Uh, so I, can, I don't expect too much out of this, but I do like this pop today on uh, some great news. Uh, let's see how this is going to trend into the market open. CRSR, this one is uh, 18 million shares flow. Now, this one that we talked about before is a recent IPO. And I have to say this daily is one of the most cleanest ones we've seen in regards to IPO action. Look at this beautiful support here at 1850. We saw a gap up yesterday there. It did sell down, but we're gapping up again. And now going against this 2250 that we have here. So uh, interesting. Um, I do like what I'm seeing here. Pre-market could be better, but the daily it is interesting. So I'm, I'm going to put this on here for now. We can always uh, take it off if we find something better. But this is looking pretty good this morning. Um, let's look at PE. So PE, not a great pre-market action. This is partially energy. And uh, again, they don't. They don't trade very well. Uh, these energy stocks are, as you can tell, they can tend to be very choppy. Um, this pre-market actually I don't like at all, and I don't have any high hopes that this is going to trade well. They're pretty pretty high this morning, hitting 12, so they were up quite a bit, coming right back down towards the, uh, the area where they were trading, so only up 6.8 at the moment. Uh, but again, I don't have any hopes for this one. Uh, it's on buyout well. rumors. Oh, and uh, that's not a great catalyst neither, so even... 
even uh, another strike to not put it on our list this morning. Uh, CUK, weird that this one is here and not CCL. This one is up 3.7, 134,000. Uh, again, if you do not know, this is a different share class than uh, Carnival is. Uh, let's look at what's going on with Carnival. So they are only up 1.8, 445. So weird to see that that type of uh, difference is usually the opposite. Uh, but yep. looking at CCL, uh, is there any news? I don't see anything great uh, on CCL today uh, anyway. I really haven't seen anything over there. So I don't know um, what's going on. I don't even, if it happens every once in a while that CUK is the ticker that shows up instead of CCL. It's very rare, as you mentioned. Yeah. I don't even look at it. I mean, I pull up CCL if I'm going to, if I'm going right. to, um, if you're going to no. even think about trading it. Yeah. I, the only thing I can think of, it's on stimulus hopes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You know, uh, so. Yeah, that's, yeah. Again, we've seen CCL, what it can do in the pre-market. This is not a great pre-market for them. The volume is very light. Uh, even at 446, that's not great volume for them. Um, let's go on to the next one. We have XPEV. Now, this is, uh, I believe, a recent IPO as well. Um, has not traded very well. So, uh, and we looked at this quite a bit. Uh, it doesn't trade clean. So I'm going to skip on this one. Right now it is up 1.2, um, 173, but a pretty bad pre-market action there. Uh, so we're going to skip on this one for now. Um, let's head to what's gapping down today. KXIN. What do we have here? This is 38 million shares flow and uh, more of a penny stock hanging, hanging around under a dollar has broken out of that in the last couple of days, giving us some really big pops here. Let's take yeah, a look at Yeah, this one it. was the play of the day yesterday. Oh, in the yes. room. Um, I'm talking the, this, about this was the four fun low float that, yeah. that a few people took and uh, it was wild. Yeah, this was definitely a, a wild rise. I, I remember now uh, you guys mentioning this one in the chat, you know, going from three bucks all the way up to 13. So, uh, again, you see, we see this quite a, quite often, right? When you have a couple of days where the stock breaks out a little bit and then you start getting people's attention. Look at the volume uh, yesterday, 235 million on a stock that was barely doing anything. Um, so it's going to get the attention. Today is the risky day where, you know, it already had a really big move. Does it have the juice? Is the catalyst strong enough? If there even is a catalyst, I'm not sure, uh, to push this higher, you know? So just be careful if you're going to be dabbling in this one today. Um, the fourth and third day after, or the day after the big move is very difficult to get that continuation. Um, so just be mindful of this one. It is not a low flow stock though. It's sitting at 38.1. But you do want to treat this like a, a riskier stock just because of the way it's moving in the last couple of days. So uh, be careful there. We can add it here as a possible. If it starts to put in a good pre-market activity, we can have some opportunities there. Down 26% at a, uh, 648000 at the moment. Uh, here is IBM. So IBM right now down big, uh, down uh, 3.6. So a big drop for IBM this, uh, this morning. Uh, pre-market is not looking uh, all that great, uh, and these stocks tend not to trade a uh, great pre-market action. Uh, but earnings, I'm, I'm assuming, Norm, on this after hours? IBM came into the gappers a little bit late. Yeah, it did have earnings uh, after hours last night, and uh, they uh getting a hit a little bit on it. I think there it was kind of mixed results. All right. Um, it was it was a sale. It was a drop that they they had some good news recently, so they had actually come up a little bit, and then they had this uh, poor earnings last night with some certain divisions that weren't doing great. So, got it. Yeah, they had a nice decent uh, pop here, and we're kind of giving some of that some of those gains back now uh, this morning. So down three point six pre market actions. This is actually a great pre market action for this type of stock. Again, they don't they don't have a usually a great pre market action. Uh, especially sitting on the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, so I'm inclined to put it on here just to see what kind of continuation we're going to get. Now, this this stock uh, might already, the move of the news might already be baked in into the pre-market drop already. So I don't expect it to just start collapsing uh, from here. So just be mindful of that. Do not have a short bias as the thing is going to run, you know, like a NEO runs when it goes sh uh, short. You know, this is not that type of stock, right? So it's a uh, so be careful with having a bias uh, to one side or the other. And then also the pre-market action is a little bit tough to trade. I mean, the intraday action, it's a little bit tough to read on these bigger uh, companies. So 
uh, be mindful of that as well. Uh, TLRY, now this uh, this one's daily is a little bit interesting. I, know, I remember we had some positive news for them about two, three weeks ago, right in this area, right? That's what got them going. I remember CGC was active as well. Uh, and they got a nice little pop here on the daily. They get a drop back to the area of resistance, found support there, and they had a big day yesterday. So let's see what happened yesterday here. Um, so big day yesterday, trended very well. This looks like it was very clean. You had a couple of ABCD patterns and some nice breakouts of the uh, high of the day there and a beautiful continuation. So pretty clean. If we can get that type of continuation today, that would be great. But right now, pre-market wise, uh, we're not seeing anything great, which I know that doesn't mean much for the stock because we've seen this stock trade very horrible in the pre-market and put in what it did yesterday, right? So um, maybe as a possible, uh, this stock doesn't trade as wild as it was when it was trading at a uh, from 100 to 300 in the same day and back down in a matter of hours. It's not doing that type of action anymore, uh, but still not a, not the best trading stock. We'll keep it as a possible for now. Uh, DK. NG, this one, uh, pretty much in decision day yesterday, you know, it did drop down, came back up towards that support that we've been uh, keeping a track on this previous day close right on here, right? A great area of support that was prior resistance. We're still slightly below that. Their pre-market action pretty wild right now uh, at 3.4 million shares traded. They're down 2.8. Uh, Norm, I don't think there's any new uh, news, a uh, new catalyst or anything new on this one. Um, no, I'm not least. seeing anything new. I, it's the same stuff, just continuation going on the last uh, few days, really. All right, so we're hitting uh, against some of the support areas that uh, we'll see. I think it's worth watching as a possible. Um, I, as we mentioned, this stock can really get going. And I won't be surprised if uh, today or in a couple of days we're bouncing back up here for a nice little pop. I mean, this is that type of stock uh, that it can do that. So we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, I'll see what it does there. It is extended on the daily. Uh, towards the downside, so we see how much how much room do we have left to move down here uh, before we get some kind of squeeze going. Um, that is what we have, guys. Let me just make sure there's nothing else popping up. CCL is coming up on the list here now, uh, starting to move uh, nicely here, pop, get, getting a little pop. You know, worth as a possible. We'll monitor the volume here in the pre market, see if it gets a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, we're getting some kind of activity here for CCL this morning. And if you look at the daily, we got some good areas of support in here as well. Maybe we can get last time we were in this area, we did get a bounce with a nice little run up. Uh, today could be the day for that as well if we decide to push up higher here. Um, Norm, what do you like this morning so far? Uh, not a whole lot. I'm still looking, man. Gotcha, brother. Uh, I, I feel like that's kind of been my the way I've been recently. I used to come up with this great stuff. The last few weeks has been rough for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think you're turning into a, a low flow trader, and and now you, you need stuff to uh, to move in the pre market. Fifty uh, percent. Awesome. Uh huh. <laughs> um, all right. So let's uh, let's see what our, my, our our members have here in our in our chat room. So let's start uh, over here. Let's see who do we have. Let's start with Lou today. So Lou, you have mRNA has vaccine news, and you have play as well with an upgrade. All right. Thank you for that info. Let's take a look. mRNA. What do we have here? Uh, so mRNA has been again. Uh, it has been tough to trade. I've been taking it off my list. I haven't seen anything great on it pre market. Yesterday we had a beautiful drop on it. There was no signals in the pre market action. This thing was going to be to be active. Um, and I didn't catch it. This would have hit our, our turbo breakdown for sure. I did not catch in a turbo breakdown. Unfortunately, I missed it. Um, but if you did, nice drop there yesterday. Uh, today, they are slightly up 2.6. Not great volume, not a great pre-market action. Um, we're still sitting above this area of support. Could be a good possible. Let's put that on there. And if you hear that background noise, I do hear that. I apologize. They're doing... Uh, all kinds of work on my street. They're putting new new water pipes in the bottom. Then they're going to redo the the, the pavement. They're doing the sidewalks. It's a whole project there. So I apologize. Cannot wait for that to be done. Um, all right. So what do we have here? Uh, let's take a look. So the other one you had was uh, what was it? Just play. So play. Let's take a look there. Uh, another one that's uh, actually doing pretty good here in the daily. Had a nice couple of pops uh, the last couple of days. Pre market action though pretty nasty right now. Not looking clean. Uh, so I don't like what I'm seeing here. Yesterday just gave you one quick breakout, a little continuation, but nothing, nothing too crazy. And again, without looking at the the actual price action, I wonder how this was if it didn't get a whole lot of volume. It looks like we didn't get an amazing volume neither. We only traded about six million shares, looks like. So that's a little tough to make that move. It might, might not be as clean. So uh, on the fence on this one, I'm not going to add this one. Let's take a look at. Uh, 
what else we have here? WDC and Piton. I know Piton has been good for a lot of members. I have not traded it recently. WDC, nice breakout around, what's this, 2 o'clock yesterday? So you got a nice little pop here. So probably on some news today, uh, they're not doing much. Very low on volume, uh, possible continuation, but I'm going to keep it here for now. I'm not going to add it on. If you guys see something developing, definitely give it a shot. Give us a, give us a shot, throw it back out to us. Possible continuation of a breakout. So whatever news uh, they had yesterday, that that was a big move for them. We're not seeing much this pre-market. Uh, Piton is another one that has been... Uh, a fun to trade their daily looks amazing it is very extended but now we're doing this consolidation here uh which looks really really good pre-market though volume is extremely light today uh so again nothing great here um if this thing starts pushing one way or the other maybe we can get something going but right now i'm not going to add it just yet another one that i will look for in our scanners uh over in, in trade ideas um all right let's look at neo guru guru had an amazing trade yesterday great job that he posted it on twitter uh thank you for doing that and sharing your trades uh make sure if you share your trades on twitter that you tag us and also norm will talk about uh how you can enter the trade of the of the day contest there a uh, neo uh right now great pre-market action we have to have at neo neo is looking really really good here uh so i'm adding that one a great pre-market great volume as usual uh and i love their day their daily is very clean right now for neo um, again, just a, a nice ABCD pattern type forming here, uh, possible bounce off this great level. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what Neil does. Definitely like that. Uh, let's take a look at uh, ABT. It's a low flow stock. Uh, no, ABT. it's not. That's no, a not massive a float, stock. float stock. Yeah. So hands K, this is, yeah, this is a massive flow. It's, it's, I think it's like what? This is over a billion shares. Yeah, oh, no, it's, it's well over a billion. Oh, there it is. 1.6 billion. So it's huge. It doesn't trade well, though. It looks like a low flow stock if you look at the pre-market action and everything else. But it doesn't trade very well. Even with news, it's a very difficult stock. Well, that's because it's only traded like 6,000 shares, I think. Yeah, yeah. so it's uh, it's not in play today at all. We'll skip on this one. Um, let's take a look at Cara this morning. Uh, Cara today, we've seen better days from this one, that's for sure. Better pre market action, they are up 11.6, but this is horrible pre market action. Uh, so I'm not going to add this one to our list. If it gets better, throw it back out to us. Uh, and, and part of it because you don't have no volume, only 44,000 shares right now. Uh, JKS, you know, JKS for me is very difficult to trade, but look at this daily. Yeah, I do want to look at this daily. Uh, just look, it's look. the most insane daily. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, even the red days are have higher lows than the than the previous yeah. day it's yeah. just I'll, I'll, these are green days to me guys this should be green we got to color this in this is it's just insane uh what's happening here um but yeah it's not the best intraday uh trading stock if you look at it it's very choppy you can tell by these wicks too you see how these wicks are pretty uh almost sometimes bigger than the body uh so again that's not really good trading there for intraday play so you got to be careful with this one uh, but yeah, the daily is just unbelievable. We'll keep, tra we'll keep track of that one. Uh, APTX, um, what do we have here? APTX has a very active pre-market. Started last night after hours to get going here. Let's look at APTX. What's the float on this? 23, so just shy of that uh, low flow number below 20. Um, pre-market action, very active. 13 million, up 74%. Uh, yeah, uh, we could put it. I'm going to put it as a low flow because just the way it's trading, it looks that way. Uh, so you want to be careful, APTX. And if you notice the stuff that we did trade last week that a lot of members took a stab on, if you notice the pre-market action, notice how clean it was. Right here, this is getting messy already. If this would have bounced off from here, start giving you some ABDC patterns and, and continuation, that's good. But here, it kind of messed it up by breaking down now. So now it's not looking great for a, a low flow stock. I want to give you an example uh, like with this one here. If you look at the pre-market uh, on this one, or even the action at the open, See, this is clean. You see this? This is nice and clean. Found support, and you got continuation. Here, you're, you're not seeing that uh, on that uh, on that other one. What was that? Uh, uh, APTX? Yeah. So APTX, you, you're really not uh, not seeing that type of pre-market action with this drop here. So just be careful. This could just be heading back down uh, to its normal levels. Um, still a few more. What do we have here? Apple. Uh, Apple, again, 1.4 doesn't really mean much to us now because 1.4 is just regular Apple volume at the moment. Um, uh, I'm not seeing anything great uh, right at, uh, overly over the top on this one, so I'm not going to add it. This is a good one now. If it's not in play or it has its own news, 
it's a good one if the market is trending in one direction like it did yesterday right the market dropped yesterday apple i'm sure dropped very well look beautiful drop yesterday so if the market is trending in one direction this is a good one to watch amd nvidia those all might follow the market but overall if it's not really in play on its own i'm not going to add it because the pre-market action is always going to look good uh, with the volume we're getting from apple um all right let's look at a few more i uh, see some airlines being thrown out let's look at united uh yeah airlines are not active today guys i don't see anything here united is very very pretty much dead right now uh, american airlines which has more volume even with five with six hundred thousand i'm not seeing anything great there neither uh, all right let's move over to what do we have on our our youtube chat here let's look at neo neo oh that's on our deck already and ndm i believe we looked at that sometime last week uh so nndm kind of breaking down now it is on short selling restriction um so, uh, so this it had a nice breakout a big red day yesterday i'm on the fence on this one guys um again it's just not sure uh what to think on this so i'm not gonna add it um i just don't like the drop that we're getting here now it is on short selling restriction what is the flow i'm not sure if it's a low flow stock or not yeah um, it is. yeah four million so Similar to what we've been looking at before, we had a nice pop here the last, these three days had a great continuation. We got a red day yesterday. This could be a big indecision day and indecision days for low flow stocks are not good at all. You know, you need clean continuation uh, or else you can, getting chopped up in these stocks is, is brutal. So I don't like the way that's setting up now. I like, to, I like this right here, I like on the way up is where you get the nicer plays. Uh, once it starts getting that drop in the following days it can usually be a little bit messy. For the most part, not saying that is the case. We, you know, nothing is for certain in the markets, but uh, for the most part, that is what happens more often than not. Uh, all right, what else we have, guys? MU. Let's look at that one. Uh, I have not looked at MU in some time. So their daily looks interesting. Possible breakout here, back up to fifty four. If we can get going, um, we it's sitting right above this great area of resistance. Look how many times that has been tested. We broke out here, hit fifty four. We're not able to break out a couple of days. Broke out yesterday, hit fifty four. Uh, but instead of dropping down as we have done in the past, we stayed above here. So, but again, the volume fifty five. Uh, I don't think it's worth adding to our list right now, but yeah. it might be worth taking a look at in the scanners maybe, but uh, it's just not not worth it at, at the moment. Uh, Neo is great, has amazing volume. Yes, we have, do have that one. PDD, uh, PDD, let's take a look. No volume here, guys, pretty light. I like the possible breakout here that we're getting above this 84, but the volume is too light at the moment. Um, and so is giving us ACI. Uh, yeah, so see this? this is, I'm not sure if it's a low flow stock or not. Let's check um no it's not a low flow but this is looking a lot better pre-market wise right if it was a low flow this is what you want to see not the pop and then coming back down and getting below the vwap um but this is a tough trading tough tough trading stock guys look at the volume is very light uh i don't like the dailies it's very choppy in here so again, again i'm not a fan of this one the flow uh the spread is horrible also you got about 10 cents here or so so i got don't like the way this is trading um all right let's head down cbli we'll do two more cbli uh this one's looking uh, pretty clean here pre-market action this is nice we've got a like, nice little bounce support happening of the moving averages this could be good 8.9 uh cbli what's the float uh, cbi 5.6 yeah it's a nice low float it's looking decent great volume great pre-market actions holding these moving averages yeah yep, yep yep definitely good former runner as you can see here nice little run up there uh with volume so we're getting volume today uh this could be breaking out some of these pre-market highs so i'm going to put that uh, pre-market high right there 442 so that looks good nice low flow there um we looked at play that's okay uh let me see what else and play we looked at so a lot of people throwing out play i'm, look, I'm gonna look at pg you're gonna see a lot of people throwing out that one uh, but nothing happening, guys. You got you have one fifty a thousand. You're up one point five. But for the most part, this pre market action, not great. Their daily is interesting, but this is not a great intraday trading stock unless they have news. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm yeah, gonna pass. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, on this they do have news. Stuff. They had earnings, but yeah, they still trade yeah. like garbage. They they do trade pretty bad. So, um, all right, excellent, guys. Uh, let's get to announcements, and we'll be uh back to this list. All right, so tomorrow night, 8 p.m., we've got Dr. Kenneth Reed talking about the changes that take place in uh, in the brain as you age, go past 50-ish. Let's say 50 is the new 20. Uh, 
But anyway, you still have some changes in your brain. He's going to talk about some supplements that will help keep you sharp and uh, some other things that you can do to help keep you sharp and alert as we all age, uh, hopefully. Then next week, 8 p.m. Eastern, Jared's going to be talking about his Pierce and Fail uh, Pierce and fail uh, strategy when a stock, for instance, is about to break out breaks out quickly and then doesn't have any commitment to that move. And that's often a, uh, a very good reversal strategy. So uh, we'll look forward to seeing that tomorrow night, uh, next week, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Wednesday. Uh, tonight, 8 p.m. is Mike doing his module for mindfulness during trading. And then next week on the mindfulness topic, our mindfulness expert, Nada, 8 p.m., We'll be talking about uh, don't believe everything you think, choosing the good thoughts, uh, and being mindful about uh, what what you uh, what you focus on. All right, guy, trade it, guys, trade of the day. Uh, so take your if you want to participate in the member trade of the day, take a screenshot of your best trade that day, mark it up. Uh, entries, exit, strategy, ideas, whatever else you think would be beneficial. Post it on Twitter, tag at bearable traders at Mike B underscore BBT and at Norm BBT. Also use hashtags BBT family, day trading and stock market. The winner will be announced each day on the closing bell show uh, with Mike, Peter and Brian. And then also we will announce the winner for the week who will win a hundred dollar Amazon gift card Monday closing bell show. Uh, or Yep. And on Twitter. Uh, if you're watching us on YouTube and haven't been in the chat, use the promo code PREMARKET24 to get a discount off the intro membership. That is seven calendar days, five trading days. Also includes Carlos's uh, onboarding class. It's each and every Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, and it doesn't auto-renew or turn into any other kind of in any other kind of membership. Uh, we now have our Halloween promotion going, 35% off lifetime membership. Use the promo code HALLOWEEN35. All right. Thank you, Norm. Let's go back to our uh, list here and start to fine tune things. So uh, let's start at the top, guys. Let's look at Logitech here. They are they are up nicely 60 percent, 276,000. Again, normally not a great trading stock, but I do like this pop today. And I hope that we can get a, a better pre-market action and more liquidity at the market open. Right now, it's not great if you look at this uh, pre-market action. Uh, you can tell by the way the candles have been trading too. A lot of gaps in between here starting to get better. So you're getting more volume. So notice after seven, a lot more volume is coming in per candle. So you're getting better at, uh, price action here on these candles. So let's hope that continues. So we'll keep that one on there. CRS, uh, CRSR. This one looks good too. Breaking out of this high now. Now I know recent IPO, but I do like what I'm seeing here, guys. So uh, let's see if this thing has some juice to keep going. Um, IBM is looking good today. Great pre-market action. Nice drop here. Uh, so I'm going to keep that one today. And then Neo, of course, amazing volume. Nice uh, nice drop here in the pre-market. It was pretty pretty up here, pretty high of 28.32 or so, 28.50 high of the pre-market. Uh, we have been seeing a nice drop here back towards this uh, previous day close line. Just kind of uh, flirting with this line right now there. Um, so we have those one, two, three, four. We could add a little more here. What else do we have? Uh, do we like CCL today? Uh, you know, CCL could be a possible. DKNG could be a possible. TLRY, maybe. MRNA, I don't really like. I think it might be a tight list for us today. We'll, we'll, let's do this four. We'll look at our moderator, see what the lineup looks looks like there, and then we'll see if they have something that we have not touched based on. Um, so Logitech, guys, looking pretty good here. High of the pre-market, 98.45. Great, uh, great report yesterday. They, they blew everything out of the water. Uh, 90 is the low of the pre-market at this moment. So you got a little nice big range here. We're kind of heading down towards that low of the pre-market right now. Uh, we'll see how we how we uh, develop in a few minutes. Aside from that, towards the bottom, your next recent high is going to be that can be support. It's around this 81.67. Do we have anything above here, or are we all time highs with Logitech? I would not be surprised if we are, given the situation with everything going on and people buying more computer equipment for their houses and getting comfortable at home and their dining room tables and whatever the case may be. Uh, what do we have here? Yeah, all-time highs, guys. So this stock is just tearing it up. Wow, nice. All right, so all-time highs. So you really don't have a lot of levels up here, guys. We're breaking all-time highs in a very nice fashion, up 15%. Uh, and that's this is all the levels you really have at the moment. 
Uh, CRSR, so we spoke about this one. This is also all-time highs here. Not that it's uh, uh, not that it has a lot of history, but this is your all-time high, 22.95 right there towards the bottom, guys. Highs and lows creating a very good uh, support and resistance at the moment. We do have what is this 22? Okay, so this 22.50. That's the height from this day. So we do have that mark there. As you can see, we're trying to uh, uh, punch through that right now. Let's see if we can get going. Um, so you're pretty much set for this one, but I do like the daily. I love the support we had here at 1850 and the continuation we're kind of getting here right up against this uh, all, uh, previous all-time highs for the stock. Uh, here's a IBM. So uh, IBM starting to drop now. We are down 3.8 on it. Let's get some levels for it. This is your pre-market low at the moment, uh, but I do like this pre-market low. I'm going to mark it down. I, I know it looks like it's about to break down from here. Maybe at least give you a wake towards the, towards the bottom. Uh, but this 120, what's that? 120.75. What I like most about this is if you go back, look at the support you're getting here. Uh, for for a few days right you're getting support here you're getting resistance on these three and then more support on these four we did drop below that and then we gained it uh, but that's going to be an important level there this is why you're seeing kind of a hesitation move now right we're testing that area because that is a great day uh daily support level you have there the next great support is going to be at over 1886 and all the way down here i don't think we'll get there but you just never know over at a 116 117 looks like to be that that next area there if you go back on the daily you can see more support happening uh, at these three points that we marked on our chart so very good there uh, towards the top high of the pre-market over at 122.36 let's mark that there and you can also see a lot of confirmation here guys on uh, as far as support here 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 resistance support happening right in this area uh, as well and then this is the, the you got the ping pong action here between uh 120 uh 70 75 uh, against at 122 28 you see the action here back and forth and to finally we break out uh, one way towards the bottom and then towards the top there so uh pretty good right now this is great pre-market action for ibm again they typically do not trade very well very light on volume for the most part uh but they have an, uh, some slightly negative news today uh, so we'll see how that's going to play out for them. We're getting a little bit of a bounce at 120 there. We'll see if that's going to stick. Uh, Neo, Neo has been so good to us, guys. Great continuation. It's a great stock to trade on the one minute. As you can see, we, we've been getting some pretty good breakouts on the one minute. It is a great scalping stock. A lot of the moves that we have made here have, have been uh, at the open has been scalping uh, opportunities. And then later on, as it settles down and it picks a direction, it's been giving you some really good trend plays that we've seen uh, a lot of the members and the moderators take on this one. So uh, it's just uh, an amazing player for us the last couple of days. 27.50, low of the pre-market. If we lose that, the next level I see here on the daily will be this 26.94. That's some. That's not major. It's kind of minor. Uh, again, not a whole lot of weight on that one. This is more important here. 25.86. I don't think we'll get there. Uh, but when you have a stock that opens up, slams down to that level, and then recovers and goes higher, you know that that's significant right there to me. 25.86. So um, that is a little bit more important. But again, it's a little far out from the price action this morning. Uh, I don't think we're going to break through all these levels and get to this, but anything is possible. This thing is not too extending as it has had two red days already, but we we, are, we did have a beautiful break, as we mentioned before. We could be giving a little bit back this morning before we uh, buy or step in again. Uh, towards the top, highs and lows from the last two trading days. Pretty much got your cover here, guys. Uh, you do not need to add any more. And this is your all-time high, so don't go don't go surfing, searching up there for more, uh, for more levels. You don't have any. Um, all right, so that is what we have. Let's take a look at our moderators list. Let's see what we have going on there. See if we find something that we can add to our list. I only I only have four right now. Um, let's see what we have going on. So uh, as far as moderators, we have. Let's start with Amen. He has Neo, DKNG, uh, NKLA, uh, and as a possible, he has Zoom. Peter has a AMD, Neo, DKNG, uh, and as a possible, he has PG, AMC. Logitech and IBM. Tiffany has Neo, DKNG, uh, and uh, and Tesla. We'll look at DKNG. I see a lot of people throwing that out there. So I, I don't want to have FOMO and have the fear of missing out. Thor also has it on his list. Uh, Neo, DKNG, uh, How, and also Logitech as well. Jared has IBM, DKNG, Tesla, Neo, and uh, and the MJ candidates there. Uh, Mike has his uh, high of day breakouts on the scanners. He'll be looking out for that, and he also has Logitech. Uh, as the top one on his list that he's looking out for. Um, let's take a look at um, uh, DKNG. We do have it on our possibles list. We did not move it up, uh, but let's see what's happening there. Uh, it's just great. It does have great volume, guys. 3.8 uh, pre-market. 
it could be better a little choppy in this area but again this stock might be worth having i mean this is a great great volume uh down 3.1 uh this actually can you can do something today let's add it on here and also i'm adding it because i don't want to have i don't want to have the fear of missing out uh other other moderators have it um let's take a look at uh what else we have guys so we have ccl as a possible there starting to drop or pop what are we doing here okay uh, drop and then came back up at the moment so that's good volume starting to pick up the daily looks interesting but not not so much the pre-market uh we can remove dkng from here there it is tlry i'm going to remove this one guys again i just i have no faith this is going to trade well today i want to have a a very focused list today uh, today's one of those days where patience is really really required when you have a lot that's not looking great right off the bat and you can tell by our moderators list is a little bit uh besides uh, peters it's a little bit tighter than usual they're not watching as much stocks as we normally do six or 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 more uh it's because things are not looking great and that's okay not every day is going to be a blockbuster watch list um this is when you have to be even more disciplined than you are when you know when things are out there for you right sometimes the market can give it to you a lot more easier uh than it can on some days so just be be careful with that one uh, mrna is not looking great uh, neither i'm um, not again it's just pre-market wise it's not great so we'll, we'll remove this one as well um on the low flow side we have cbli this one is starting to regain some nice uh, support here maybe a possible test of that 442 aptx losing it nicely here again this is why here it just got into a lot of trouble not breaking out of the the vwap and now you're starting to drop here you don't have shares for sure so just i'm not going to watch this one it looks very uh, very interesting towards the way down there but we don't have shares for sure um kxin uh starting to regain some action here just be careful with this one you can get some kind of continuation but it had a big day already yesterday so if if there's still any one that survived that's stuck here long the minute this thing is strong they're, they're looking look they're gonna look to bail uh so be mindful of, of that in, in this list there um all right guys that is all we have uh let's take a look um a lot of guys stuck in uh dkng yeah i would not be surprised i mean but dkng is a stock that it won't surprise me neither if it comes back up to 50 and higher because it's a very quality type stock where people like to trade the stock they like to go uh you know uh, heavy on this one and there's a lot of hype behind it so don't be shocked if we find some supports here uh heading back towards the top there so uh, we'll see what that does uh yes we could do levels for this one actually we yes we are missing levels towards the top you got the highs and lows pretty much covering you your low of your pre-market is based i'm sorry your high of your pre-market is basically the high from yesterday you got your previous day close line here which is probably the most important line towards the top uh, above the price action right now here's where you're getting a lot of uh, uh the resistance you had before that now becoming support that became support a couple of days ago that now becoming resistance so that's a good one then you can mark down uh, i know this is your law of your pre-market as far as numbers right right there 42.15 you can also see the range here 44.99 and also 42.15 right on your montage uh but this area here where the price keeps bouncing from it's actually uh, for me seems a little bit more important it has more weight 42.96 we bounced from that several times right around this area. We did we did uh, dip below it a little bit more, but this seems to be holding some weight, that $43 mark. So I want to mark that on there. And then towards the bottom, if we were to lose the low from yesterday, the low of, from today, uh, the next great area of support and resistance, great support over the last three days here, this three-day span, 40, 33. And just look at the resistance, right? So resistance there breaks down, comes back up one more time, can I get above it? And then here finally is able to, uh, the following day, gap up and maintain that uh, beautiful pop there. So uh, plenty of good levels for DKNG. Starting to look good. If it, if it drops here, uh, we do have some room to run. This is looking pretty nice. Somebody just dropped a nice little order there, 1.8 million. Uh, yeah, definitely uh, one to watch this morning guys that is what we have uh we have one more minute we're throwing out aci i know a lot of people threw this one out yeah actually you know what this does look good i thought we had it this does look decent not my type of stock to trade i don't believe it's a low flow stock um but the pre-market does look interesting especially now that you're uh heading up towards the pre-market highs here for a possible breakout and continuation um i'll add it to next to uh kate okay, next to the low flow stocks i won't be watching it because it's just not my type of stock to trade uh but again you can tell here this pre-market does look pretty pretty interesting at the moment uh with some nice volume starting to pile up here um we have uh brian coming in before we log off here brian is uh he's bringing in ibm dkng he also has a sq neo and a cbli for fun yes yeah, cbli 14 million shares right now 
up 90 percent that one is uh, definitely on fire this morning um, all right guys that is what we have happy tuesday um we will see you tomorrow uh, at 8 30 so join us then thank you for those that joined the onboarding class yesterday we had a lot of fun a lot of great questions uh uh so look forward to uh seeing some of you guys here in the chat room as we continue to prepare for our pre-market brian and, and uh i know andrew are up next and then the rest of the moderators throughout the day so take care guys on youtube and we will see you tomorrow